Tonight it is Tuesday morning, and last night this tree, you can see the stump over here, fell on my truck that I'm using. It's actually my son's truck, but I'm borrowing it. Um, yeah, so it was completely covering these two cars, and uh, this is the tree now over here in a pile. Pretty good sized tree. I hear one of the other trees are creaking right now. We got these huge trees out here. So, anyway, here's the pile of it. And uh, it didn't do any damage, though, luckily. So, it felt, I think with the snow on it, it protected it from getting either car getting damaged. But this little red car was completely covered. I couldn't even see it under the tree. I didn't even know it was there until the neighbor came out and told me. But. Yeah, so that was lucky. All right, I'm going out walking this morning. I'm going to walk to town, run some, do some errands. Um, we got another. I don't know. We got another bunch of snow again yesterday and last night. I think we've had about, I don't know, a couple feet now. It just doesn't seem to want to stop. And it sounds like we're going to keep getting more. So I haven't been able to get around much. Um, last week I did 29 miles total, which I feel good about. Uh, Sunday, um, I did go sledding with the grandkids and uh, went off a jump on a saucer with my two-year-old grandson and uh, wiped out. So, because I didn't want him to get hurt, I wrapped my arm around him for, to protect him. So, I like tucked and rolled <laughs> so I wouldn't land on him and, and I kind of slammed on my back. So... Um, so I gave that a day to heal, but and I feel good today. I mean, it's a little sore, but sometimes I forget I'm in my 50s. I probably shouldn't do stuff like that, but I like to have fun with grandkids. So yeah. So yeah, look at this. Woohoo! I'm kind of getting a little sick of the snow though because uh, I'd like to be able to go do some hikes up in the woods, and I can't even get to the woods. I mean, other than the Peabody Creek Trail, you know, which you've seen in a number of my videos, I can't get up to the some, some of the trails I want to practice on so I could test out my gear. Um, so today I'm wearing my Micro Spiked. Just got these. Um, I was debating on whether I was going to snowshoe today or use these. So I thought I'd give these a try because I just want to get used to see what they feel like on my feet and make sure I'm putting them on right and that they're working the way they're supposed to and how far I can walk and have them still be comfortable on my feet. So yeah, I am going to walk to town and run a few errands. Um, and we'll go from there just try to get some exercise in today and then get back into it again. All right. First good test for my uh, micro spikes. I'm on this icy hill. It's kind of slushy. I think it's warmed up a little bit, but uh, it's still slippery. So yeah, I'm just gonna give them a try and uh, see how they do. So far, so good. I haven't fallen on my ass yet. He's still young though. Down cars out. I imagine that there isn't much going on in town. I think a lot of the businesses are shut down. Schools shut down. Um, yeah, I don't even know what's going to be open when I get to town, so I guess we'll find out. And if not, it doesn't really matter. I just need to get some exercise. Getting too comfortable sitting in my house. Um, I've been working on stuff. I've been working on resupply boxes, and I got uh, 
my new scale, postage scale in yesterday, and weighing my gear, and um, I got new my new sun umbrella, and some lace locks, and my dirty girl gaiters, and you know, just some random stuff, but uh, yeah, I weighed everything in my pack and what I don't have yet, and I don't know what I thought I had for weight ended up being more my uh, pack and it was like with all my snow gear it's like 20 pounds so without my snow gear it was like 16 but that's not what I want I want it under 15 for sure I was trying to get it down to 13 so I'm already doing a shakedown on myself and figuring out what I can live without um, I've heard a number of times from people that you pack your fears, and that is so true. You know, I think one of my biggest fears is being cold. Well, just weather, being cold and being too hot. So I'm, you know, wanting to pack everything from shorts and tank tops to, uh, you know, different, multiple insulation layers. And um, I think this is the main issue where I'm going over, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to narrow it down and, you know, the rest of the stuff I can, I can leave with my daughter-in-law and son because they're going to be doing my resupply boxes. I keep telling myself that. So even if I have to go 20, 40 miles, you know, and being uncomfortable and find out I needed something that's not that big of a deal, I can have them send them to me and switch stuff out. I could send stuff home too, but... I don't know. Anyway, it was uh, not as easy as I thought it was going to be trying to get that weight down. So I'm just kind of reevaluating everything. There's some stuff that I can get that's definitely lighter. Like right now I have this little Kershaw um, knife. And I don't know, it's like 3 ounces, 3.4 ounces or something, you know. And I could get a little, just a little Swiss Army knife. And that'll eliminate some more of my personal hygiene items that I got in there too, like tweezers. And, um, so there's just some little things I definitely can, can fix. But, yeah, it's going to be some work trying to get it down there. And I probably need some help because um, I'm stubborn. And uh, so, yeah, I've been getting a lot done. You know, I've been working on videos. Uh, my YouTube channel is growing rapidly, which is awesome. I want to thank everybody for their support. Okay, it's been an interesting day so far. I am heading back home uh, up by the college. This is the way I'm going. Some traffic on the roads. It's really slushy today, the roads are. So, if it freezes again tonight... I think it's probably, I don't know, mid-30s, upper-30s right now. Um, assuming it's going to cool off again tonight, though, and then these roads are going to be an ice arena and chunky frozen snow. So it's going to be a mess. But anyway, so uh, the couple places I was going to go run errands uh, were closed. So... Uh, I decided to go to the ER because I've had this abscess. I actually wasn't sure what it was, if it was a boil or an abscess or an ingrown hair, but had it for over a week. Rather than being dramatic about it and having somebody pick me up from the hospital and bring me home, because right after they did it, they cut it open, it hurt like hell for about 15, 20 minutes. But by the time I walked to the pharmacy... It was bearable. So, anyway, so instead of being dramatic and having somebody pick me up, I decided this is a good test for me. All right? It's going to be lots of pain on the trail, and I'm going to have to deal with it. i to suck it up and just deal with it. So, uh, suck it up, Buttercup, and continue walking. Which is not really that big of a deal. I'm not in pain right now. Oh, check this out. 
Pizza that's right across the street from me as I'm walking. Yeah. There's lots of deer around here all the time, all day. They're not seeing wildlife, and then I'll come home and we'll see three or four deer right here, you know, a quarter mile from our house. It's so pretty cool. He's just cruising down the road. No worries. On the final stretch home, we're heading up Porter Street. Big slushy mess. Okay, so anyway, as I was dealing with this wonderful experience, I was thinking, well, this is not how I've seen this day going. When I headed to town, I was going to go run a couple errands, you know. I was kind of thinking I should go take care of this, but I was like, going to be my last stop. But, but as I started walking, I'm like, I should just do this. Um, so, anyway, uh, what was going through my mind was Dixie on the CDT uh, dealing with two ingrown toenails and going in and having them surgically removed, wrapping them in gauze and tape and putting her shoes back on and going right back to hiking. And I was thinking, what a badass. Freaking ingrown toenails are freaking super painful. And then having them surgically removed and then having to put shoes on with that. I'm like, holy cow, man. She's my hero. Um, so I'm like, if she can do that, I can pull up my big girl panties and just do this. And so I'm not even in pain now. Um, so anyway, it's been another adventure today. And I got something else taken care of that I needed to do because again, the people in my life uh, that are nurses and my big sister and have made me promise that I would go to the doctor before I go on the PCT and at least see a doctor, make sure I'm healthy enough and get an inhaler because typically I get asthmatic at times. Um, but I only use an inhaler occasionally, but they're right, I should have one with me in case I need it, especially when I'm going to be up in higher elevations. I hate to get up there and not be able to breathe. So anyway, I got my inhaler today too. So woohoo, another item I can check off my list of things that I needed to do before I leave. Um, I've worn my micro spikes for most of the day. I had to take them off a few times just because it was just walking on asphalt, but I'm glad I brought them. Um, especially going downhill was really slick in spots. The snow's really wet now and just kind of slick. So uh, they've stayed on my shoes good. I, I don't feel any different than if I'm just walking on my boots. They are not uncomfortable at all. So that's encouraging. I think they're going to work just fine. So on another note, um, the real test with the micro spikes will be when I actually get on some hills, maybe where it's icy and compact snow and where I can really test them and see how well and how safe they feel uh, doing some climbing or descending even on steep terrain. Um, been doing some research on the uh, on the crampons, the Cthulhu crampons that will attach your trail runners. But yeah, as I'm hearing the snow reports um, and different information about what the Sierras are going to be like this year, um, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little concerned. I have zero mountaineering skills. So um, I'm doing learning as much as I can. Uh, a wonderful gentleman, I think that works for the PCTA organization, posted some information on the Facebook 
uh, PCT 2019 group yesterday. Very helpful. Thank you for thinking of us. It's really good to get um, information like that from a professional that you know you can trust. Uh, that actually teaches classes on uh, mountaineering safety and has the experience of doing it. And but still, I'm, I'm concerned, and so I want to keep my options open. If I feel like I need crampons when I get there, then I will get crampons, even if nobody else is doing it. Sometimes. I don't know. I'm too old to be, try to be cool. I want to live. So, every, I've had people tell me, oh, you don't need an ice axe. You know, it's like, well, uh, I see a lot of people bringing them. And from everything I've learned, I would feel safer with an ice axe than not. Um, doesn't weigh that much. I mean, what's eight ounces? If it saves your life, right? Come on, people. Um, so anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress over it, but I do want to be prepared. So the way I relieve my anxiety and squash my fears is to do research, is to practice, is to get all the information from people that know what they're talking about. And to make the decision for myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Talk to you soon.